Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. I just got back because somebody was giving away free rose bushes. Oops, that one toppled over. As you can see, this one is a like yellow bloom. They said that this one with the little is like a reddish um, bloom. And then this one, they forgot what it was. But either way, they still all look beautiful and they're free. So, I mean, who doesn't love free things? I took my shovel because I had to dig them out. Um, but now I have to figure out where I want to plant them in the garden. Three free rose bushes. I really wanted to put rose bushes along that line, but I do have rose bushes that are gonna be arriving in May that I wanted, that I spot specifically to put there. Lily. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab some calla lilies though because I like calla lilies. Mm. You know what calla lilies are, Emma? No. It's like this, mm -hmm. but the flower instead of being like one, it's like a little bell. Ah. Like the ones that they use in Drupal Mission Amor. Mission Valley Pet. You want to see this RuPaul? You see how it's starting to circle around? Yeah. So you want to kind of disturb it so uh -huh. that when you plant it, it goes out and doesn't keep growing around. Cause... Ya tienen las cosas? A qué hora se acaba? It doesn't have to be too fancy, but that is so much better because now the roots can grow out and not be. So let's go this way. Like that. Oh, look how beautiful that's gonna look. Once yeah. the rose bush is added, yeah. that's gonna look nice. I'm gonna leave this there. Hopefully She's patting it, it. She's patting it. Yeah, you don't want like air in there. You, I'm gonna come back with some water so mm -hmm. that it like establishes. And then rose right here? Yes. So should I move this or this? This, huh? Yeah. Oh, it smells like me. I'm gonna plant this over here. Like right here, huh? Mm -hmm. You see that? Oh, look at this beautiful worm! Let's zoom in. Oh, oh man, you threw it. it! Okay, here's another one. Look at the beautiful worm. Uh. I used to play with worms in Perkins. <laughs> you know we had recess, right? I'd go where the office was uh -huh. and I'd just play with the worms. <laughs> now I'd collect roly polies too and then I gave them to my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a kid coming up to you and giving you a roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> she was probably like, uh, my students are weird. No, <laughs> because right, we had, um, What's it called? We had butterflies, like caterpillars that were turning to butterflies. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna catch your roly polies. I wanna see them turn to butterflies, but so they don't red? turn. Yeah. Okay, that's this one. Cause they don't turn into butterflies. Oh no, a branch bro. Oh man.
Oh, look at her. She fits uh, perfectly. I'm gonna turn it around though, so that it's more like that way, no? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think it needs to get this dirt back all in. Oh, look at that. That's going to be so beautiful. It is. Okay. Let's get the dirt back in. Insert Mochi eating a core. <laughs> Mochi eating core. Man, she really loves that core. All right, it is gonna be almost 2 p.m. and I just got back from the swap meet and got my calla lilies or tia, ¿cómo dijo que se llamaban estas? Alcatraz. Six dollars, yo. ¿A dónde los platos si no con mis rosas? What up, KK? Hola gordita, ¿dónde estabas todo el día? Huh? Okay. Well, obviously everything I have is a mess. I was thinking planting the cattle lilies here, but my mom says that they need a lot of water. So does my grandma. And that it's not a good idea to plant them next to my roses, which means I should have bought another one of that one. I didn't think about it. I thought the cow lily would work, but I guess it doesn't. So now I have to find somewhere else to plant my cow lily and try to figure out what else I want to put over there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna give that some water because she is getting sad and I just what transplanted else? her. I'm trying to save up for some rain barrels. Um, in the future, I want to set up a, like, um, what are those? I don't know. This is the bucket with holes. I forgot my mom made holes in some of the buckets because they used to have plants in them. But that's so rude because I wanted a bucket that doesn't have holes. Here's one. Um, anyways, like I was saying, I want to do a rainwater capture system, but I feel like that's going to be expensive because I'm going to have to put like rain gutter ducts on the roof and then I don't even have like, I don't know how much rainwater I'm supposed to capture um, and there's other projects that have to take priority in the house um so yeah kind of sad but but oh well it is what it is um with that being said though let's see what we can plant emma <laughs> she likes your new toy where is she is that your new toy? Yes. You don't want the butt no more? Oh, I'll try to put the butt. Let's see if she goes for it. She stopped. Throw it. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. The butt has been replaced. <laughs> 
just gonna go get it dirty. Look, that's the first thing she did. <laughs> Damn. Bye, but I guess this is the end. Because even if you pot it in a bigger pot, but you didn't do that, the roots still want to go the way they were going. Mm -hmm. So when you break them up, it has to find a new way. Okay. Like that, is it? Mm -hmm. Now we've got some roots that are not going in circles. And you want to just place this there on top. And now you want to dig up, like add more. Add something here. For those that cannot see, the roots are starting to grow in a circular motion, so you want to break that up so that your roots don't continue growing in a circular motion once they get added to a bigger pot. Okay, so I just finished planting everything. Here is my calla lily. I don't know if you can see it, but oh my goodness, she is beautiful. I can't believe I only got her for $6. Um, and I need to obviously get more dirt. She loves a lot of water, so I gave her a lot of water. Um, and it's more just like, she loves to sit in it for a sec before it all like gets out. So I mean, I could definitely still get away with watering once a week like I do the other plants. Um, it's just, she needs more that, that day. Um, here are my roses. I don't know if I see, oh, I see a little green, but I don't know how to focus it. Anyways, there's a green little bug, so I'm gonna come with the little sprayer. I think this plumera isn't gonna come back. 
it feels squishy in some spots like maybe she's gotten too much water or maybe it's just because the gopher took her out and she's never was gonna come back here's the other plant I had I forget her name and I forget which plant has the tag so we'll see there's another calla lily I pulled from those because I originally wanted to put two big calla lilies there and then the roses in front but my mom said no because their watering is different and so i did a test and if it works and she's good and she's thriving and she loves it and the other plants are good then i'm gonna switch some of those big pots over here um rose bush that i got for free today more of that plant that i had a uh, pinkish red rose bush that i got for free a peace lily some bolita chiles, small little roses I bought at the super, I think, or what's like left of them. There's more all throughout the garden. Yellow rose bush, more of that plant. The iceberg rose, but she never flowered, so I don't know if she'll ever do it. And then the other calla lily here oh she's so beautiful I love her six dollars y'all six dollars and then there's those plants and yeah that's about it that I did today I do have to go and clean up, get this looking cute, and then I'm gonna go with the fertilizer that I make that I bought. This is a $18, $19 fertilizer. It's all natural fertilizer, rose and flower mix. So we'll we'll go ahead and put this on. I picked up this end all insect killer for the little aphids, aphids and here as I'm pruning this rose you can see up close there there's a lot of them just hanging out by that stump so let's see what happens we'll see we'll here see. is another rose bush and I just tilted this and look at that look at how infected it is so the person at the store said that these little bugs like to hang out in the center so she said to spray off the center of your plant um, I told her it was rose bushes, so she said to do the center of my rose bushes. And then she said, don't spray over because that's not going to do anything. You have to spray underneath where the little boogies are. So, because that's what they like. And so for me, I'm just going to, I did that one. There was a lot of little ones there. Um, I'm going to. I can't obviously film and hold this, but I'm gonna go through and do all of the underneath of these leaves. So this is what I'm gonna use to measure what I'm putting in there. This is the little thing that came with the Miracle Grow. But I'm using this one, though look, it's a cardboard box. But inside it's plastic.
All right, so it's kind of hard to show you when I'm holding the fertilizer, but this is kind of what this is what the space looks like. So these are the little slow release um, pellets, and you can see around the plant. I've gone in and put the in-ground fertilizer. So this is for a fruit tree, while the ones around the roses are for roses and flowers while over here this is my lime tree so i put a citrus mix um, and these will all get fed in once we come in and water but first i want to kind of just get it all over the place so that way i can just water at once and not have to worry about um if i did that area or not already um and yeah, so let's see if this. And you don't need a lot. I mean, it's pretty. It covers a lot and it's a slow release, so you'll be good. And I started putting on the spray for the little aff aphids, 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 but then I realized that a bee died and I'm going to try to do it at night or like when the bees are no longer active, but if I still see that more bees are dying, I'm not going to going to use it because I don't want the bees to die. Here you can see that it does have because it's starting to die and it shouldn't be dying. Um, but those little suckers kill the plant. Um, and as we saw earlier we did have the little buggers on here on this specific plant. <laughs> 